Mexico City and I was sitting next to a tree and there, there was a rally going on and they were transiting and I just look at the rally cars and I just said to myself you know one day I will be racing cars and it wasn't a normal thing that a girl will do you were meant to play with dolls and we do the all the girly stuff but no I like to play with cars I was a little bit different so I got my rally license when I was 12 and then my first rally was when I was 13 and I was driving my first rally when I was 14 and I won my championship when I was 15. For me it was just like a dream and I can't thank dad and mom for all the support and it was great. For her motorsport career, coming to Europe has, has been really good because she's done some great events with other drivers in other cars and continues to. So she's probably the most international Mexican navigator there is now. 2000, I met Keith. He went with the English team and they were looking for uh, somebody that could explain them the road book. So the first year, I went and Helica wouldn't dance with me because she didn't like my shoes. I didn't even make it to the rendezvous the second year. I got sidelined by the then head of police who demanded I drink tequila with him. So it wasn't until 2002 that Angelica came over that year for Christmas and New Year and stayed for most of it after that. It took a few years but we got there in the end. Coming to the UK, that I thought, you know, if I'm going to own a car, if it's a classic car, it has to be a Mini. Like, I'm in London and I have my Mini. Angelica always wanted a Mini, and, and I wanted to have a car that, that we went off and did things in. So we started looking at Mini Coopers and couldn't find anything that we really liked. Came across the Mini Sprint idea, which then got me really enthused in it, actually. It's got about five inches cut out of the body, so two and a half inches from mostly around the bottom, two and a half inches out of the windows. And it came about uh, as a project to reduce the frontal area to make it go faster as a race car. So Neville Trickett did the cars and Rob Walker saw the car and ordered, I think, a, a 50 or 100 of them. So that was back in the mid 60s, over a period of about not much, not any more than two years. Neville is now in his 80s and lives in France, but will still do the metal work on a mini sprint for you if you take body shell down to it. He said, Angelica, if I'm going to build something for you, it has to be something special. He, he looked for the shell, he bought the shell. The shell was taken to France. It was a project that took three and a half years to, from start from the beginning to, to completion, to finish, the, the, to get the Mini on the road. It's Angelica's Mini. It's racy. She just loves that sort of ethos of the car. It was a very nice thought of him thinking about that special Mini and then see it finish. Nothing is perfect, but, but it's near to perfection with the fittings and everything for our relationship to have achieved that and him thinking about me and, and having this little treasure and we, we don't have babies but it's it's our baby. In a way it's it's give us so much joy and, and we enjoy being together, driving the car around, the long journeys in it.
for us, the Mini is something that definitely we, we do together. Although we're both big into motor racing, Angelica tends to go off and do her navigating on her own. Even although we might go to a race meeting together, I'll be off somewhere trying to find somewhere to take pictures. You know, when we were when Angelica was doing the Carrera, she was navigating for Doug and I was in the service van for Richard Clark. You know, we would meet at the end of the day type thing, but we'd have had our own adventures during the day. Peter and I, we are very lucky. Normally when we go away, it's just like, it's the boys and Angelica. And women are happy for the husbands to go and along and enjoy the motor racing, and they are happy staying at home. But no, I love to go motor racing, and I love to share that passion with Keith. We're very lucky that we have that, that in common. I take motor racing very seriously, and I just like to be fighting for the first place. He respect that and it's very nice being the guy that knows everything about cars. So I think to have that compliment that you can enjoy you go motor racing and some couples or some people will say, okay, well, motor racing, that's finished, let's move on. And so, no, we sit down, have dinner and we carry on talking about cars. So now it's wonderful. The rewarding side for me nowadays is when I sit back and, and think about motor racing has changed my life in every aspect. Being born in Mexico, now being in the UK, you know, I'm in another country, had given me an opportunity to meet such amazing people all around the world. And, and I think that's great that a sport can take you in places that you never dream of, to meet people you never imagine, to learn different cultures. And the more you enjoy and you want more and you want to do more events, and the more you look into no, whatever, what's next and where would I like to go and race, giving me another opportunity of see different cultures, different people. I think it's just fantastic.